what a hike. Okay, what a hike this morning. So if you can see from the backdrop here, so I'm finally, the weather's cooled down. So now I get to start doing some hiking and some outdoor coffee. Okay, so we're gonna do some, a lot of outdoor coffee making videos, uh, upcoming season. Okay. So this morning, you know what? Okay, so it was a little rough. So I brought my Flare 58 this morning uh, to my hike. It's not an easy task. I mean, you know, you could actually with the Allen wrench to disassemble this, but put it back in. But you know what? I'd just rather just bring the whole thing in. Okay, so I use one of my uh, back here. Uh, kind of like I, I, I just got this back from, I found it at my house somewhere. So I use this back. And then this morning, I'm going to show you guys pretty much start to finish. Okay. I'm going to unpack this and start to finish. And we're going to make some coffee. I'm going to take you step by step. By the way, if you're just joining me, uh, let me know if, you're, if you can hear me right now. Uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? Because I'm using my kind of like headphone set here. So, hey, Jonathan, can you hear me? If you can hear me, get a thumbs up. Good. Excellent. All right, so let's make some coffee. Okay, again, I'm using the Flare 58. And uh, so this is the the electric version. So unfortunately, so this model, you cannot attach the uh, attachment. So you have to bring the whole thing. We are outdoors, so there's no power plug here, which means we have to brew manually, okay? So we're gonna brew that manually. Let's see, I like to still bring my scare as well. I got, I brought my setup, you know, hold on. Let's see here. Here we go, that'll work. I'm gonna start doing some setup here. Okay. Got my water. And I brought my little cup. Let's see. I got uh, two coffee from DeMello this morning. So this is like dark roast, okay? I mean, morning like this, I like to have some dark roast coffee. And what else do I got here? Let's not forget the kettle. I got my little, this is San Anthony Industry, uh, their ceramic mug, okay, this is great. So I'm gonna make myself Americano this morning. And then inside, I brought my WDT tool here, my homemade WDT tool. All right, what else I'm missing outside my stove? Okay, so we have to have grinder there, folks. Okay, I got my grinder. Let's not forget the burner. Okay, so this is it. So this is the entire my outdoor setup i mean so it's a little involved okay to make one cup of coffee is that worth it you know what i think so okay but i mean the view i have here and goodness it'd be so much i mean it's, it's kind of it's not the coffee itself i'm talking about the ambiance and it can beat it, okay, it cannot beat the, this feeling. And, okay, so Flare 58 is, you have to bring everything. Obviously you have to bring your port filter and puck screen as well. So, and I even brought my dosing funnel too. So you know what, let's make some cough coffee this morning. If you're just joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome, okay. All right, I'm just gonna start setting up my stuff here. So this one I got from Amazon for like $8 about three years ago. And unfortunately, they're not selling it anymore. I mean, this thing is just great, okay. Uh, it's pretty small, small, small form factor. I mean, it works really good. It's not sturdy though, okay. It's not strong as, but you know what? I mean, I'm not doing, you know, hardcore hiking, so for what I do, 
that's pretty easy. Just make sure whenever you install it, just make sure the valve is closed, okay? Just make sure the valve is closed. Just lock it in. That's it. This one burn uh this one is really fast. So then I got my kettle here. This is a smart kettle from San Anthony. Uh treat me right, okay, it works pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna set you guys up so you guys can see it. Okay. The one downside is the bugs everywhere this morning. So I hear some mosquitoes running around. Put some a little bit of some water. I'm not gonna start the water yet. Because you know what? Why not? I'm just gonna start the water here. I like to set up some station like this. And then, okay, so I'm, I'm grinding 18 gram, folks, okay, for espresso. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little work. So, last time I did it, it took me about, about two, what, minute and a half, two minutes. So, hopefully, not that long. Water is running, boiling right now. Again, just talk, uh, look at the views, guys. Look at the views. This is like absolutely beautiful. So, I mean, can beat it. Can beat the views. What a perfect weather this morning. It's about 63 degree at the moment, 63, 64. Love the backdrop. Again, uh, we are making coffee with the Flare 58. So this is the grinder from San Antonio industry. It's called Meat Rice. And served me well. I was gonna bring my Commandante, but I have to say this grinder comes with this wonderful leather case. So I think, I guess I prefer having a little case for the outdoor, so. Man. This thing is a workout. This is workout. The water is pretty much done. Yeah. Water is pretty much done. Again, just absolutely gorgeous here. I'm just gonna spin it around. You know what, maybe show you guys around, okay? Hold on. Hold on a second here. I'm just gonna flip the camera. The sun is about to come up. Yeah. And then, so that is the it's dam right over there. Hold on. Hopefully I can. I still water is flowing. Obviously, we have a lot of cactus. Sora cactus in Tucson. So that's what we are known for that. Beautiful deserts. So that's my setup right there. So, look like coffee, look like water is almost ready. 
Okay. Yep, water is boiling right now. Okay. So, Flare 58. Ideally, you want to preheat, okay? Preheat the water chamber, your fortifier as well. But unfortunately, with the outdoor setting, it is a little bit more difficult. That's another reason I, I picked out the duck roast coffee because duck roast coffee, it does not require uh, more heat than uh, needed than the lighter roast, light to medium. So the duck roast is the ideal for outdoor setup. Plus, you know what, the outdoor, you know, dark roast give you that very nutty and chocolatey notes. I mean, overall, I think that's pretty suitable for outdoor. Okay. And we're just going to put everything together here. I got my... Just like so. Got my WDT tools. Just, you know, do just like you are making at home. Except you're outside. Just give you a gentle tap. Okay. They even have uh, this small built in temper, uh, temper here. That's it. Just gonna polish. Put your fork screen on. Next thing we gotta do is we're gonna make some coffee right here, right now. Okay. Again, I, I like to go one to two ratio still. So water is done. Okay, here we go. Got my scale. Oh. Let's see here. Maybe I can give you guys a better view. Okay, hold on a second. Maybe we should do this. <laughs> this is the fun part right here, sir. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put some water all the way up. It's nice and hot. So I'm using the boiling water right now. <clears throat> okay. I'm just gonna start with the pre-infusion. It's kind of like nice and easy. A couple of bars. Don't you see the drop? Just gonna give it a nine bar pressure there. Look at that, guys. Looks pretty good. And then you just lift up. Now you have this delicious cough coffee. Look at beautiful crema there. Wow.
and that we can enjoy our morning coffee. It is a lot of work for one cup, okay, I have to say. But I think it's not the, I think it's the, just enjoying the outdoor coffee at finest, okay. I mean, how many people can say, you know what, I'm going to make myself, I'm a you know, nice espresso in the morning when you're hiking. But I know some of you out there, it's no way, okay, it's no way. You know, no way you are going to actually bring your equipment. But for me, you know what, I really enjoy the journey. Cheers, guys. Happy Saturday morning. Okay. Not the best. Let's put it that way because it's not, uh, you know, it's not ideal temperature. But that's why I brought my mug. So we are going to make my, you know, make some Americano. Okay. I think Americano would be perfect for a coffee like this. Just going to add some hot water, this boiling hot water here. I think this is much better than, you know, nothing like good Americano. Here you go. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, comes to clean up for Flare 58 is so much easier than uh, <clears throat> uh, just regular uh, Flare. So you just, after you're done, just make sure flush it out the rest of wa uh, water there just flushes out and then that's it and then you just you know just like clean like any other coffee machine should be nice and easy anyway i hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and i think we i'm planning on doing a lot more outdoor uh coffee making so so this is good start okay this is good start to 58 to start with and hopefully we're gonna find something okay i think i got a few more gadgets at the shop so i think we should have some fun this season all right folks you have you guys have a wonderful morning